Hello, we're doing some lovely watercolours by Count Amadeo Preziosi, who was born in Malta and travelled to Turkey, travelled around Romania, Greece, Albania, and ended up living and dying in Turkey. He had a studio there where he would sell his pictures to visitors and friends and travellers. So we have done a video of the big one on our website with a price, and then I'm going to discuss these little ones which will be priced the same. The, the thing about these, these pictures is you'll notice they have different colours, background, and if, if, if an artist uses a tinted card, it means they don't have to prepare the colour of the background, it means they don't have to do wash. So we'll pick this one here to start with. This is a bluey, a bluey green, but it's, it's, it's cream really, but it's a bluey green cream. And he has painted a musician with a tambourine and a dancing bear with a chained, sadly, a chained nose. And the Turk has the customary headgear. And the painting is painted on a card, which is not faded. This is the colour of the card. And if you're worried about the card colours, uh, or the fact that not all of his pictures are signed, you can look at what's available on the internet and you'll see that there, that there is a variety of tinted papers and recently a book, an album of scenes was sold for £375,000 in England, I think it's Bonhams, and it had 81, 81 separate original watercolours in it, which were done by Preziosi and within the bound album of originals, 81 originals, not all of them signed. So you can take it from me, he didn't sign all his works. That one is signed, these are not signed, but they are by Preziosi. And when you look at the, the way the pencil background is done, for example, you'll see that the scrubbing of the pencil is the same. I'll show you what I mean. This bit here, this bit here, it's the same. And uh, he has favourite colours and he uses favourite colours. And he uses tinted paper and doesn't do background colour, doesn't do wash. So he has a head start. He could just start painting the figure. So he'll draw in the figure and then he will go over it and colour certain bits of the paper and other bits he won't colour. He hasn't coloured that bit there. He hasn't coloured all of that on this one. Oh, there you go. He hasn't coloured any of that or this bit. So you have you have a, a sort of single-minded artist doing his own thing. This one here is a masked female with a sleeping child with a hood and a large cloak. And there is a lovely turquoise colour to that one and a very bright coloured cap on the sleeping child. Heightened watercolour, yellow shoes, the same yellow he's got in there. And in the larger Preziosi, he using, he's using a green derived from the same green. He's using the heightened, the heightened uh, white. He's using the same blue. And I said in my other video, he's got a sort of trinity of colours, which he does use a lot. So these are in temporary mounts with a cover to stop them from getting dirty. And they are, are waiting frames. And I haven't got any spare frames at the moment. I'm not going to put them in modern frames. I'm going to put them in reused antique frames. And I'm not going to put them in fat golded ones, gold, gold gilded ones, um, like something Liberace would use. I'm going to wait till I find a fairly neutral, plain, modest frame with a, I will use a map of a similar size. So they're not signed, these two. They're not dated. They're going to be 18, 50, 60 or 70. They are Turkey or Albania or Romania or Greece. I think they're going to be Turkey. They're colourful. They're not faded. That one has a very unusual back, background colour. That card is very unusual. Very, 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 very unusual for a Preziosi. That one is a normal 
sort of preciosy colour. Not as light as some of them, it's not as dark as some of them. And I think that that is a, a better painting, but it's not a very nice scene. That is a nicer scene, but not as such a good not such a good painting. There's two two elements to that painting. There is some damage here and here, but I think I'm going to put the same price on both of them. Um, very nice technique. The studies, they're unusual. They're not posed. I mean, they are posed in a way, but he hasn't said to that guy, "Please stand this way." He's just painted what he saw. I don't believe that is a is a posed a posed sitting lady. Could be. I think he's just made observations and painted what he remembered or recalled. He 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 has done so many pictures. I, you just can't believe. I just can't believe how many paintings he'd done. He must have been basically painting continuously. Um, I think because they have a Maltese connection, he was in Malta, because they are not lithographs, they're not copies, I think that, um, and I, I have got evidence, documentary evidence to say they are not fake and they are by the same hand, uh, at, by the same hand as uh, one with a signature, they are, they are by Preziosi. I, I think that you have to think about the the value and um, they, they appear quite expensive, but I don't think they are expensive. Um, if you look at the other art from Malta or England, they're, they're not, they haven't gone silly on price yet. Will they go silly on price in the end? I think they will. I think that they, they, they will gradually climb and uh, accumulate in the value. And that, uh, and that some stage, there was, there was, a, there was a quite a good supply of Preziosis at the moment, but at some stage that, that supply will start to dry out. And what will happen is you'll be left with the very small ones, the damaged ones, and the, some of the unsigned ones. Some of the ones which look like Preziosi, which, which are not Preziosi, the ones which are called uh, attributed to, to Preziosi. I see probably two attributed to Preziosi for every one that is, is by Preziosi. And, uh, the 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 the, the, num the number will decline and the quality uh, will will decline and the desirability will decline and the provability that they were his will decline so that the better ones will become out become off the market and then the market will be concentrating on the on the lesser ones so I think now you can still buy good ones which are pleasant to look at and have colour and have interest and show this flavour of Victorian Near East. Thank you very much.